glad you're back. Sorry. It wasn't you. And I wasn't me earlier. Pete, I... Pete, it... It was like some kind of hive mind in there. I saw you. And Harry, he, he was going after this rock. Miles is at City Hall. Go. I love you. I love you. Complicated. I'll be there soon. You think this is Harry? It has to be. I just saw him in Queens. He turned MJ into one of those symbiotes, but worse. What? She's okay. She broke out of it. Luckily, faster than I did. Connors thinks I had the suit on too long, and now some of it is left inside of me. You really meant it when you said things were complicated. One thing at a time. See you soon, Miles. I hear that. See you. Reminds me, I owe someone else a call. Peter? Hey, Miss Morales. You, uh, make it home safe? I, I was just, you know, I wanted to make sure. We're fine, we're fine. And Peter, we're fine, too. But next time, answer my calls. Trust me, I'll be on my best behavior. You'd better be. Now go help my son. Busy. Yeah. Well, good thing the cleanup crew's here. This is somehow worse than I thought. And no sign of Harry. He has to be here. Then you told me there were a bunch of civilians trapped inside. Apparently, they were using this place as shelter. We'll get them out safe and sound. How are there this many? Looks like he's trying to build an army. If you ask him. He's trying to heal the world! Getting a bunch of messages on the app from people inside City Hall. They're trying to evacuate onto the roof. Then we better clear a path. There's an emergency exit up there. Let's go! there 
Still some of this thing inside him. I see. I think I can clear it out of him. But only if I go to the source. I'm going in with you. What's the plan here, Lee? Find Spider-Man. All of this dark matter should lead us toward him. Alright. On my way. Where are we, anyway? We are inside Spider-Man's mind. We've seen what those creatures do to people around the city. They get in your head. They twist your desires. Mad they stole your routine? I know you're joking, but you're making my point. This thing fears my power for some reason. And I, we, are the only ones who can find where it lives. So we clear this thing out at the root, and Spider-Man's free? That's the plan. All right, then. Stronger hold on him than I thought. All right. Weaken the symbiote, take back control, use our powers to save Spider Man. Where do we start? We have to find the source of his pain. Follow me. I'll try and lead you to where it's darkest. But I can't promise what we'll find. why Spider-Man would think about this place. Most of us are here because of him. He's protecting New York. Yes. But maybe not every problem is solved with the cell. Do you think I don't know that? Down here. I think I found something. I think... It's like they never stop. 
stop! That's enough! I get it! Did you do that? No. The symbiote. He killed them all. The problem solved. That's not what Pete thinks. No. But it might be how he feels. All these villains. He really thought the suit could solve it all. Is that... me? You caused a lot of pain, man. A debt. I will spend the rest of my life repaying. There's something up ahead. You're close. May's house. I haven't asked Pete about her in a long time. What's wrong with me? When you get caught up in one part of your life, it's easy for the rest to fall away. She's dead because of you. I never meant for her to get hurt. This is your chance to make it up to her, then. I feel something upstairs. Does have the same effect in here. Yeah. I guess it does. <laughs> Looks like Red Feast. my life around this place. This will probably be the closest I'll ever get to seeing the inside of it again. Not that I deserve to. Lee, why did you do it? What did you want? Revenge. Norman Osborne's the reason my parents are dead. So I dedicated my life to making his hell. I'm sorry, Miles. Up there. That's the source. If we clear this out, we just might be able to save him. can transfer all of my power into the symbiote. I think I can neutralize it. And free Peter. What'll happen to you? I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> well, if this is my last chance to say anything to you, forgive you. It's just not in me. But I can't carry this hate for you anymore, man. So let's set things right. You and me.
Yeah. Why didn't you give me this power sooner? I could have used it. I didn't give you those. You didn't? Try things my way sometime. I'm not sure I'd make a convincing hero. Won't know until you try. I went in your head to clear out the symbiote that's inside. He had to drain his power into it to save you. It looks like it had an effect. Wait, you two work together? I wasn't about to let you die. Miles, that's... After so many times saying it, thank you seems soft. It's okay. I know. I don't deserve that kid.
there, big guy. Let's try this again. We lost you. Guess I should thank you. I spent years of my life consumed with vengeance. I lost everything for it. You two reminded me that that's not who I am. When you help someone, you help everyone. Where are you gonna go? To set things right. Your way. Wow. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. Maybe MJ was right. Why would the city need me when it has you? I don't know. This city still looks like a two Spider-Man job to me. Let's get out of here. Any sign of Harry? Not yet. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. And Pete, just wanted to let you know, I got my byline pulled off that article. And gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means if the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland, there's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. Aw, the feeling's mutual. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. I'll let you know if I hear anything. OK, while I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some spark. <laughs> Stay inside, everyone. I won't let anything happen to you. Everyone all right? Just to be safe, I recommend going home as soon as you can. Thank you, Spider-Man. Let those people get hurt. That's right. Focus on the big, loud Spider-Man. All clear. At least for now.
Dr. Connors? Hello? He's here in my lab. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connor's lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Should be a shortcut to Connor's lab near Central Park. I've gotta find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. I just hope he doesn't hurt Connor's. to do with that thing. I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. Ah! <laughs> 
At least for a little while. My hero. Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming! People in that bus won't last much longer! Hey, Uglies! How about picking on me? This area is not safe. If you don't have a place to go, Feast is open to anyone. Thanks, Spider-Man. <laughs> my whole life flashed before my eyes. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you... somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. started.
must be on to something important for you to try to defend yourself like this. coming from. I can't let them get to the heart. turn into symbiotes? You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Why would you leave? We are here. You can be too. You, Peter, us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles. Come on. Let us heal you. Bring us, Peter. That's not the way, Harry. You know that. Pete and I, we're gonna save you from this. No, we are saving you. Haley? What are you showing me? Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the hive mind. 
saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? You're serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. There's the subway entrance. Miles has to be right. That's where the meteorite is. I just have to clear out this bridge. Everyone stay in your cars. I won't let them hurt you. Harry! The Venom! I know you're here! You found us. Yes, I'm here, buddy. I know. Just hang on. I'm coming. Tunnel. The meteorite has to be underground. Venom! Please talk to me! I have to get underground. I can't leave these people behind. Subway tunnel. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight! Haley! No! doing here I was I was trying to save you you're incredible I, I like you so much and I think you like me do you want to go out hey, on a date? <sighs> Is that a yes?
Well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Talk to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Seeing a rock. No? Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. We can give that gift.
good man? Oh, we need to call MJ. I know where the meteorite is. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get your rose? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Or Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it? Gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Drop these flares. I hope they 
they made it out. Meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. alive.
sure your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry? Harry?
Heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite. You took it from us!
Let's just get him out of here. Maybe I was. 
but... But Pete wasn't Pete! Fight! 
done. Either way, P. We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, P. Together. Give me some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try.
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. Uh... 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <sighs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Bro. See you.
What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. loss even you Norman what are you writing the final chapter You're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. What's up, New York? 